I probably don't know if you And I think you were said that the tool that was also called Dova and you know this way. You just want to use it. Yeah, I mentioned a, a, a problem here by uh, switching the stack traces, which I discovered. Sometimes if you switch the stack traces, they are, it takes a very long time, like now, I switch to this stack trace, and it takes a lot of time, and there's really no reason for this. Debugger itself has um, implemented um, in a really strict way that the view is uh, completely covered from any uh, controller act activity. Yeah, that is, if the debugging interface somehow takes a long time for whatever reading memory or, or something like that, it should really the GUI should uh, still be responsive. And only when, when the, the controller task is done, it should notify the GUI and, and the GUI should update uh, immediately. And somehow here it, it somehow takes a really long time to, to do things. And as you can see, the GUI is not repainted and not res responsive at all. And just know that it's uh, yeah, uh, yesterday, you know, the day before yesterday, and thought it would be a nice thing uh, to, uh, to profile. Because obviously something is taking a lot of time, and uh, we don't know why. And that's where the profile tool comes in. Um, I will show, uh, first demonstrated with a simple, simple program. If you profile C, for instance, uh, there should not be not be happening so much. Uh, you do now sleep for three seconds and then get a result for what what has happened in, in, in the sleep. Um, the default for for profile is uh, is a sampling interval of uh, one millisecond, and you get you get an overview here, but uh, how many uh, it has. Uh, during the three seconds, uh, the three primate has uh, found uh, 59 hits in, in the sleep code. Obviously, sleep isn't, isn't doing uh, very much, it's mostly sleeping. Um, but a few things that happen nonetheless. Like you, you see, here's, um, it's a manual symbol, so it's not uh, so readable. It's a uh, fine symbol um, in the image. Oh, this. The runtime loader. So obviously, when the runtime loader relocates uh, the program, it has to do a few things. And those are the, uh, the profile feature. You get um, first an overview over the images uh, that the program consists of and um, how much they are hit uh, or how many sampling it's uh, in there. You see most uh, half of it happens in the, in the runtime loader, most half of it in the, the runtime only a few other hits in the, in the other program, uh, other images. You can't even run in, in sleep itself. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and um, after this uh, short overview, you get um, a listing of all <coughs> of all hits in, in detail, like 40 hits in um, in this function, find symbol in the runtime loader, that you get an amount of uh, yeah, how much it makes of the, of the total. And yeah, basically that's it. Um, you can also um, you can shorten the the interval. By default, it was uh, 1,000 microseconds. Uh, you can shorten it to uh, 10 microseconds, for instance. And we get a lot of more, a lot more hits. Uh, yeah, a whole bunch of hits, really. Um, even a few in the scene. So the so the granularity of, of the um, of the sampling is, is much higher, and, and uh, you get more precision. Um, what I'm doing now, and it's actually an emulation, a virtual uh, like I was running in virtual box and. Really, profiling shouldn't be done in, in emulation because it totally distorts the results. But for demonstration, I think it's okay. Um, yeah, and here you see uh, much more detailed results. You get also it's in a function you haven't, haven't seen before, like 
I don't know, maybe that's you. It's a lot of times when I find you.
it only took a while to write back the, the files, the profile files. You get a lot of, um, you get from which that you get an extra file, and it's, yeah, doesn't have a very innovative name, name situation. Um, mostly a uh, prefix, the flat number, uh, the main name of the thread, and uh, the time it took is uh, spent. Uh, or wasn't counted back. So you see, for instance, the, um, the debugger window, uh, yeah, that's the debugger window, uh, took quite some time. And we will look at this uh, in a cache print uh, to uh, view this data. 